gonna put the camera in the bag and we're gonna go in. All right, well, we're in Manhattan and uh, we are in front of the Bonobos, I guess, headquarters, which I didn't realize, but they have a guide shop up there and we're gonna go check it out, so let's do it. We're going undercover though. <laughs> Yep, that's right. This week we are going undercover in part two of the Bonobos Breakdown Breakdown. Yep, we are continuing our exploration of how Walmart can save their $310 million investment. We are going to dissect the guide shop experience and learn three lessons that we can use and apply ourselves to create a great loyalty loop. Now in part one of this series, we took a look at the first moment of commitment signing up for this guide shop appointment. And if you missed that one, you may want to go watch that right now so you know what's going on in this episode. That's gonna get you all caught up. Now let's pick up where we left off on this very special episode of The Loyalty Loop from right here in Banff, Alberta, Canada and undercover footage from New York City. Now remember, here's how Bonobos pitches their in-store guide shop experience. Every Bonobos guide shop location is outfitted with a team of knowledgeable, stylish, and witty guides that will give you as much attention as you want or don't want to make sure you leave feeling like your best dressed self. Now, I did not have the foresight to shoot the Miami guide shop experience, which is why I went undercover in New York City. And we're gonna see that footage in just a minute. But first, let me tell you what happened in Miami. My wife and I arrived about two minutes early for our 2 p.m. appointment, and we we walked in the store very excited. And when we walked in, there were two guides standing at the cash register, and this is how they greeted us. Can I help you? Yeah, we have a 2 p.m. 60 minute guide shop appointment appointment, and we're so excited about the appointment. I said, okay. That's what one of them said. And he just stared at us like we were supposed to make the next move. He didn't check the computer. He didn't know my name. He didn't welcome us, nothing. Sad face. <laughs> Immediately, I went from like a 50 on the consumer enthusiasm scale to a zero. Why? Because it turns out a guide shop experience is exactly like every other retail experience in the world. Look, I can walk into Brooks Brothers or J. Crew or Vineyard Vines and get exactly this kind of experience. Sadly, it looks like it's turning out that a guide shop is just a shop. And here's loyalty loop lesson number one. If you're going to tell me you're different, you need to show me you're different. Most brands market what they think makes them different. And that's exactly what Bonobos has done. They've told me why they're different. Instead, they should go back to some basics and build a loyalty loop experience. They should show me why they're different. They need to do something different. Show me you're different before you tell me you're different. And they can start right now with the very next person that walks in for their 60 minute appointment. So what are you doing differently after your moments of commitment? For example, if you set up a 30 minute meeting with one of your consumers and you do what everybody else does at the beginning of that call, like brief introductions and a run through of the agenda, you are not showing me you're different. You're just doing what everybody else does. You're creating creating an average experience from the get-go. So, show me you're different. Do something different before you tell me you're different. So this is exactly why I went undercover in New York City, because, you know, maybe my Miami guide shop guide is just having a bad day. Is this what the experience is like everywhere? So what happened when I showed up in the very first guide shop that Bonobos ever created? Let's take a look. Hey, how's it going? Good. I thought you guys were gonna be on the first floor. I just decided I'd walk in and check it out. Are you here to shop? Did you hear that? His first question was, are you here to shop? What? Why else would I be there? Uh, you see, I even gave this guide the opportunity to kind of fix my Miami guide shop experience. Have you been to any of our guide shops? Yeah, I, I went to the one in Miami. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you like sort of know how they work, like we ship everything out? Yeah, may, I mean, I, my experience there wasn't that awesome, so maybe you can tell me what it's all about. Okay, so, well, this is our original store, yeah. so it's why oh. this is like corporate and everything. So here's what we know so far. In a, in a, in a sample size of exactly two guide shop experiences, we know that their experience is pretty much terrible. They're doing nothing different than every retail experience I've ever had. Back to Miami. My guide, let's call him, I don't know, Miami Matt, because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. He just looks at an ax like I've interrupted his Sudoku marathon this afternoon. He could not be bothered. I tell him I need a brand new look because that's exactly what they promised me. And I ask him how this experience works. And here's what he tells me. Now, this is what the New York City guide shop guide told me, but it's pretty much the same thing I heard when I was in Miami. Everything you see here is going to be a sample. Yep. Then we have size rooms in the back. Yep. Um, 
we won't have like every specific item, um, but it will be like everything like that's on our lead, if not the same. Um, so let's just quickly take stock again. This is just like a normal shopping experience, except I don't get to leave with the clothes. You see, if it was a different kind of shopping experience, it would seem like shipping my clothes home was actually a kind of cool feature. Instead now, it just feels like an inconvenience. Remember, this is what a 60 minute guide shop appointment is supposed to be. Give us an hour and we'll style you a brand new wardrobe, they say. Yep, a brand new wardrobe. That is literally what I want. That's why I came here. And me and my wife can tell that Miami Matt has zero interest in actually styling an entire new wardrobe, zero. And here's loyalty lesson number two. Our job with every consumer is to constantly re-inspire them. Our job is to create new moments of inspiration as efficiently as possible. You see, Miami Matt could have sat us down and told us exactly how this experience is going to work. He could have laid out a bunch of great outfits that we could look at and create new moments of inspiration with every one of those outfits that we would just add to our cart. So what are you doing to re-inspire your consumers when you welcome them into your hotel or kick off one of those clients? calls or, or start that product demo. Okay, so what happens over the next 30 minutes at the Bonobo store in Miami is pretty disappointing. My wife and I have to drive the entire experience and Matt's completely not interested. And if I'm completely honest, the only time my wife and I actually noticed him perk up with some interest was when we told him we wanted to purchase two $600 suits. In fact, I'm wearing one of those exact suits when I walked into the New York City Bonobo Guide Shop and I want you to listen to what the guy there says. I'm wearing the suit today. <laughs> so, well cool. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, nothing. I was just fishing for a compliment. And that, my friends, is loyalty loop lesson number three. That guy could have used a simple loyalty loop driver to reinforce the brand experience. He could have maximized my honeymoon phase. You see, it's not when you buy the product that you're most excited about it. It's the first time you use the product or wear the product that you're most excited. All that guide had to say was, I noticed you're wearing one of our suits and you look great in it. Better yet, he could have created a new moment of inspiration and said something like, you know what else would look great on you? And he could have showed me something. He could have created a new MOI right there. What are you doing to maximize maximize your consumer's honeymoon phase. What is their after party glow moment? And if you don't remember what an after party glow moment is, that's okay, go back and watch this video right here. It'll explain exactly how it works and why it matters a ton to your experience. So far, how is their experience shaping up? Well, knowledgeable, nah, stylish, I guess. Witty, <laughs> not even close. Giving us as much attention as we want, no. Not a chance. Annoyed face. Okay, so if you can believe it, after I get home, my experience with Bonobos gets even worse. So next week, we're gonna break down the final three lessons we can learn from Walmart's $310 million investment. And we're gonna do it when we have to return one of the suits I bought. The reason why and the hoops we have to jump through may just blow your mind. So don't miss the next episode of The Loyalty Loop. You can sign up and subscribe right here. I don't want you to miss that third episode. And we're doing this every week, new episodes of The Loyalty loop so uh, I will see you next week in my loyalty loop in the meantime I'm just gonna let you enjoy the beautiful view of the mountains and I'm gonna go finish my what's now freezing cold coffee Have a good day.